Hi there, I'm Landon, this is Lando 27 Music, and today I'm doing a microphone comparison video. In the past I did a video, actually I've done a few videos with condenser microphones and some budget microphones against some kind of entry level pro mics. So today what I'm doing is I've got three vocal cardioid microphones. We've got one from Pile. This is the PD Mic 58. We've got one from Behringer. This is the XM8500. And I've got the classic SM58 from Shure. So what we're looking at is two budget microphones and sort of your classic pro mic that you will see used on countless stages. So the plan in this video, I'm gonna be doing three comparisons. We're gonna be doing some speaking, and I'm gonna be doing some singing. And the third one isn't a typical usage. Uh, you don't typically use these to mic up a guitar amp, but I will just to see how they, they can handle it. We'll do it for the video, just for fun. In a moment, I will get to some unboxings. These are all unopened, so you can see exactly what's in each one. Price-wise, we're looking at, I'll give the American prices and the Canadian prices. So the Pile Pro in the US goes for about 16 bucks and is 29 in Canada. The Behringer mic, it's a little step up, it's $19 US. It was also $29 in Canada. And the SM58 is $100 US and $129 Canadian. So the price of an SM58, you could basically get five or six of each of these. So let's see how they do. So first we'll open them up and see exactly what you get inside them. All right, let's go for it. Let's see exactly what you get inside here. Okay, microphone, microphone cable, XLR to, I prefer uh, XLR to XLR. Um, in the case of the testing, I'm not going to use this, this um, cable, I'm going to use the cable that I typically use. No documentation. Okay, cool. That should loose. That's number one. Number two, the XM8500 from Behringer, Behringer, however you want to say it. This is uh, some cool packaging. It's got its own case. Okay. Very nice, for 29 bucks. Awesome. Uh, cards, okay. Very cool. And, okay. This one comes with a clip. Give me the wrong clip. Oh, it's just gonna tighten. Okay. Yeah. So this one comes with a clip. No cable. Yeah. I'll mention the uh, the Pile Pro didn't come with a clip. So you're gonna have to get one. All right. That's number two. Really impressed with this case. It's really cool. SM58. Manual stickers. Bag. Ah, very nice. Clip. And there we go. Very nice. All right, here's all three lined up. Just a footprint comparison. They're pretty much identical size-wise. They're all metal. Of the three, yeah, they actually go weight-wise. This is the lightest, that's next up, and sure is the heaviest for sure. If that means anything to you, and if that'll mean anything in the recordings as well. All right, we've had a look inside. So I will mention, I don't do any EQing to the audio. These are gonna be raw audio samples. The only thing I might do is some volume adjustments just to balance things out if there is a big increase or decrease. I will mention it if I see it. Um, the other thing, I'll probably add a little bit of reverb to the vocals as well, just to make it sound a little bit better. All right, let's check it out. All right, as I've done in previous microphone videos, 
for the speaking part, I usually just read some of the manual just to get some information. My lips are actually touching the mic, which I wouldn't do in public in a bar, but because this is brand new, it's actually probably dirtier. Covering and or obstructing the microphone top mesh grill and internal mic receiver diaphragm element will result in less than optimal performance, causing distortion and interference to be really bad, and you don't want to cup a mic like this ever. Don't do that. Don't cup a mic. It looks really cool. Don't do it. Optimum placement, distance of microphone and vocals, 5 to 10 centimeters from my mouth. So that's the thing. you got to be really close to these, right? That's the point of them. They're, they're for stage performance, usually. You get away from it. And that's the thing with these microphones, right? You don't need a, uh, a pop shield in front because you're going to get your pop, 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 pop. It's supposed to be protected. So we'll do our pop test. Pop, pop, pop. A little bit of pop, 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 pop. Sibilance. I think we are good. How did that sound? This is a $16 microphone, the PD Mic 58. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Just for reference, I am keeping the gain on my Focusrite Scarlett I2I. That's my input. I'm keeping it exactly the same. Let's go a little bit closer. This is the XM8500 from Behringer. Again, I'm just going to read some documentation because that's the most exciting thing you can read. You should always read the documentation. Always read the documentation in all of your products that you buy. Sorry about that. This is just a quality engineer test to show that it was tested and there's nothing else on there. And this is just a warranty card. So I'm going to read the back of the box. Before I get to that, again, cupping the mic, don't cup the mic. You don't want to do that. You probably just left the video because I did that. Oh, it actually mentions the weight on the back here. This microphone is 3.5 pounds. I find that hard to believe, but apparently that's what it says. NW, net weight and gross weight is 7.9. I don't believe that. Pop test. We'll do a pop test. Pop, 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 pee, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Super annoying. But, hey, you want to get the uh, the full effect, right? It's a dynamic vocal microphone. Smooth mid-frequency presence rise for an excellent voice projection. It's got an integrated spherical wind and pop noise filter. That's exactly what I was trying to do. And I think from what I'm looking at the wave going into the computer right now, I think the pop actually worked a bit better than the pile, which is really cool. That microphone case is nice. Let's take a look at that. Padded. Your microphone will be safe in there, for sure. It's almost like a guitar case. All right, let's move on to the classic SM58. All right, this is the SM58 from Sure, And again, I'm not adjusting the gain level at all on any, any of these recordings. It's the same for all. It comes with a novel in here. This is the user guide. Always read your instructions. Okay, here we go. Application. So they mentioned, yeah, they just mentioned it's just for vocals. Like I said, I'm going to be doing it with a guitar amp, which isn't recommended. But apparently these can handle quite the load. Lips less than 15 centimeters away and touching the windscreen on axis to microphone. Robust. Oh, changes. Oh, they're talking about tone quality, so you can change your tone quality. Avoiding pickup of unwanted sounds. Recommended loudspeaker location. Let's do the uh, quick pop test. Pop, pop, pop. One, two, check. Peter Piper picked a peck of pecker, pecker. Take two. Peter Piper picked a peck of peckled. Peter, Peter, <laughs> Peter Piper pecked. Peter Piper picked a peck of peppered pickles. Is that it? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what the real saying is. I messed that up. But again, close up. My lips are right on it. Definitely smells better than most microphones that I've smelled in bars and uh, on stage. <laughs> so that is the SM58. And we're going to move on now to vocals with singing. And I'll have an acoustic guitar, which will get picked up as well. But the, mo the main point is to uh, hear the singing. I will add a little touch of reverb. Again, this is the Pile Pro. Just verifying that. They even kind of copied the font that Shure uses. So. Treated you like a mother. On the phone On the phone On the phone On the phone Take your time Take your time Take your time Take 
All right, again, that's the pile. PD Mike 58. And I can see that it definitely had trouble picking up the acoustic guitar, but that's the idea. You want it just to get your vocals, right? So let's move on to the Behringer XM 8500. Again, this is the Behringer XM 8500. It's easy to like your colors. It's easy to like your colors all alone all alone all alone all alone take your time take your time take your All right, that was, uh, yeah, XM8500, Behringer, singing test. Let's move on to the Shure SM58. It's easy to like your colors. It's easy to like your colors all alone. All alone, all alone, all alone. Take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. All right, that's the SM58. And just quickly, I'll mention, I'm looking at the wave file going in. I'm seeing less peaks and valleys, meaning it seems to be a bit more balanced than the other ones. The other ones didn't have the high. The other ones have the highs and the lows, more extreme. This one seemed to keep it more level. So that's worth taking note. Okay, again, that was the SM58 from Sure. And let's move on to miking up some electric guitar, which might be kind of weird, but let's do it. Okay, again, this part I'm miking up a guitar amp. I'm using a Marshall DSL 20HR. This isn't something, this isn't an application that I recommend, but I'm just doing it for reference, and we'll see what kind of tones I can get out of it. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that video is useful. Again, I'm Landon, this is Lano27 Music. Check out my other microphone videos if you're interested. I'll 
have it in the cards above, a playlist to all the different microphone videos that I've done. And check back again soon. I will also be doing a comparison against the SM57 from Shure and some budget models with that as well. So that should be another cool video. All right, as always, like and subscribe if you did like this video. If you didn't like the video, give me the thumbs down, but also leave a comment why. I don't mind the negative feedback. All feedback is good. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Take care, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So, uh, you guys come here often? What's the deal with microphones anyways? I mean, they're not even micro, and they're not phones. Guitars, eh? What's the deal? What's the deal with guitars, right? You know what I'm saying? Is anybody still here? You're not even watching this far into the video. Good night, everybody.